How are you? Thanks for joining. I'm Federico. And in today's class, we're going to explore some asana connected with Manipur Chakra. Manipur Chakra is placed at the level of the navel, between the navel and the spinal column. And the Bija Mantra, the root mantra of this chakra is Ram. So we're going to repeat the mantra while we're performing the asana. And the color is yellow. So let's take a moment, sitting tall, with the back straight, the shoulders open and relaxed, hands chin mudra on yana mudra on your lap. Give yourself just some time. Start to observe the physical body, the meeting point with the body and the floor, feel your legs, your feet, your knees bent your hips open, the spine straight, most of the chest and shoulders are open and the neck is in line with the spine. Your eyes are closed, so the mouth. And give yourself a few moments, just becoming aware of your physical body sitting, be aware of the breath, in the nose. Slow the rhythm of the breath using a diaphragmatic breathing only. So expand the belly, breathing in. Retain the belly, breathing out. Let the breath to be silent. Now inhale, we're going to chant Om Shanti. Shanti, 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 Ariyom Tatsat. And we begin with sun salutation. So we step forward the mat, taking the feet together, back is straight. The element of Manipur Chakra is fire. So visualize for a moment this point, uh, the space between the navel and the spinal column. Then inhale, hands in prayer position, exhale. Inhale, arms forward and up, hip forward. Exhale, length forward and down, relax your head. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, look up. Hold your breath, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Cobra, breathe in. Mountain, breathe out. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, look up. Exhale, left leg, follow, feet together, relax your head. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, up and back, arch back. Exhale, arms forward and down. Observe after one round. Inhale, pray position, exhale. In, arms up. Exhale, length forward. Relax your head, bend the knees as always if you need. Inhale, step your left leg back, knee down, look up. Hold your breath, plank. Exhale, drop, knees, chest, forehead. Cobra, breathe in, mountain, breathe out, inhale, step your left leg forward, right knee down, look up, arch, exhale, right leg follow, feet together, relax your head, inhale, stretch your arms, arch back, exhale, arms forward and down, inhale, pray position, exhale, inhale, arms forward and up, Exhale, length forward and down. Inhale, right back, knee down, look up. Hold your breath, plank. Now we breathe here for a moment. Keep pushing the ground. We're already stimulating Manipur Chakra in this asana. So contact the belly. Inhale. Exhale, drop, knees, chest, forehead. Also Ashtangasana, 
is reflected on Manitura, the psychic point. Breathe. Inhale, up in cobra. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, look up. Exhale, left leg follow, feet together. Inhale, stretch, arch back. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, pray position, exhale. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, leg forward and down. Inhale, left back, knee down, look up. Hold your breath plank. Uh, also for this round, we maintain the body. Stay, plank pose, neck in line with the spine. Try not to drop the hip, control the hip. Keep pushing the ground far. Belly breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Knees just forward. Few breath here. Try to feel only the eight point touching the floor. Toes, knees, heart center, hands, forward or chin. Inhale. Cobra. Mountain. Exhale. Inhale. Step your left leg forward. Right knee down. Look up. Exhale, right leg follow, feet together, relax your head. Inhale, stretch your arms, arch. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, pray position, exhale. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, length forward and down. Inhale, right back, knee down, look up. Hold your breath, plank. Exhale, drop. Cobra, breathe in, mountain, breathe out, right leg forward, inhale, left knee down, look up, left leg follow, exhale, feet together, relax your head, inhale, stretch your arms, arch your back, exhale, arms forward and down, inhale, right position, exhale, in, arms forward and up, exhale, leg forward and down, Inhale, left back, knee down, look up, hold the breath, plank, exhale, knees chest forward, cobra, breathe in, mountain, empty your lungs, breathe out, inhale, step your left leg forward, right knee down, look up, exhale, right leg follow, feet together, inhale, stretch your arms, arch back, open, Exhale, arms forward and down. Breathe. Expand and retain the belly. And we're going to rest in Shavasana. And we relax in Shavasana for a moment. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of the body tip to toes and relax completely also with the help of a full yogi breath silent subdo full yogi breath relax your shoulders inhale take your legs together Stretch your arms over behind your head. Stretch the whole body. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Flat the spine and relax. We slowly turn on one side. We sit up with the back straight. Bend the knees. And we begin with um, boat pose, Navasana. So stretch your arms forward. Lift your legs. If you can, stretch completely the legs arms in line or keep the knees a little bent so you maintain the shin parallel with the floor or if it's too much you can still drop the feet on the floor so we breathe here shoulders far abdomen open so the chest connect with manipur chakra mentally repeat the bija mantra ram in the area of your belly 
in a exhale bend the knees add the knees to your chest relax your head expand the belly as much as you can feeling the pressure towards your thighs inhale head up stretch your arms we go back in both toes breathe feel the belly expanding and retaining deep take the energy from the belly focus in your navel breathe in breathe out shoulders are relaxed arms are pointing breathe in a exhale up the knees again abandon the head few deep breath in your belly inhale head up we go for the last round arms up legs up shoulders far breathe try to use deep diaphragmatic breathing stay in your belly visualize the color yellow fire the activating fire here also gastric fire in a exhale at the knees length the spine breathe in breathing out look over behind the left shoulder in the center right in the center and relax the head relax your legs now we're going yoga mudrasana this is this asana is specific to activate uh, the energy in Manipur chakra so we have two options for this option one is fit in lotus pose uh, full lotus pose option two if you can't hold lotus pose you just simply sit on your in Vajrasana on your knees so either way you choose you're going to hold one wrist behind your back you breathe in lengthening the spine up and breathing out you abandon forward and down so in this pose stay visualize the breath in the belly visualize Manipur chakra and keep on chanting the Bija mantra Ram always focusing in the space between the navel and the vertebrae behind the navel. You stay here for a few breaths. Relaxing the shoulders. Maintain the posture for those that are eventually in full lotus pose. We're going to experience the pressure of the heels in the lower abdomen. So expand the belly, increasing the pressure of the heels. If you don't have the heels, you will probably feel your thighs. So same experience. Breathe. Abandon forward the best you can. Try to relax your head. If you can go till the floor, stay where you can, but just abandon shoulders, neck, and all the muscle of the face. Last few breaths, maintaining the focus on the mantra. And next inhalation. Slowly we sit up, release your arms, either you are sitting on your knees or in lotus pose, or place your hands in Chin Mudra on your knees. Stay, maintain for a moment the posture, immobile, and try to just connect with Manipura. 
visualize this point, bright light, yellow bright light. And then slowly you can stretch your legs forward, maintain for a moment. Breathe in and breathe out. And from the preview pose, we move into the crow. So from Yoga Mudrasana, a bit more active posture, arms same width as your shoulders. For those that are experienced, you already know you can either place your knees on your triceps or out your armpit. If you are maybe at the beginning, just turn your fingers a little bit pointing inside so that you can bend the elbows on the side. You walk close so your knees are already placed on your triceps. Try to look forward. Huh? Try to avoid to look down but length your chin forward. Shift your weight and then one leg at a time we breathe here. We try just for a few breaths. Belly breathing. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Release. Take a moment. Again, stretch your legs forward. Let the energy to equalize in the body. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we enter in the pose for a second time. Stretch your arms, fix a point in front of you. You can now try to place eventually your knees a little higher and then one leg at a time. Breathe. Belly breathing. Inhale deeply and then slowly release. You can hug your knees to your chest and relax the head. Once again, stretch your legs forward. We relax in Shavasana before we're standing up after this pose. So relax all your effort. Maintain a full yogic breath. And then slowly bring your legs together. Inhale, stretch your arms over behind your head. Stretch, stretch, and relax. Slowly turn on one side. And we rest in a up child pose. Next asana is Vasishta asana. Also here another pretty intense asana. Forward on the floor, stretch your arms forward, sit on your heels, breathe. Inhale, you go up on four, place your left shoulder on top of the hand, right arm up. We breathe here. Visualize first alignment between your two arms. And then we stretch also the left leg. If you can stretch the leg, maintain the knee on the floor. Stretch the leg, stretch your arm, breathe. And then inhale, also right leg up. Inhale, exhale, leg down. Plank pose, we keep on activating Manipur. Breathe. Keep visualizing the navel. And then we open on the other side, left side. Arm, if you need, drop the right knee. Keep pushing the hip up, inhale, left leg up. For those who can, you can always huh, hold the foot. Oh, that was just a inhale, plank, breathe, belly breathing, 
We're going to activate again on the right side, up. Breathe, leg up. Try to look up. Leg down, arm down, plank pose. Almost done. Belly breathing. Stay, stay connected. Notice how this asana they're really activating uh, fire. You can experience the heat in the body. And left arm up. Breathe. Inhale. Left leg up. And slowly drop, arm, foot, inhale deeply, exhale, drop your knees. And we're going to rest for a few moments in full child pose. So relaxing the head completely, forward on the floor, let your arms rest. Breathe. And then inhaling, we sit up on the knees, palms up on the lap, in Chin Mudra. Breathe. And we stand up. From standing, we take a moment just to adapt and relax the body after the intense the intensity of the previous asana. Inhale, we stretch both hands high. We place the hands in prayer position and we bend in Utkatasana, a chair pose. So maintain the posture straight, try not to round the spine, keep it straight, breathe here. Hands in prayer position. Visualize the navel. Breathe. Shoulders relaxed, We're still activating fire, experiencing the activity in the body, the breath, the heat. Inhale, stretch your arms up, stretch the knees. Exhale, we go back again, maintaining the arms stretched. Three, try not to lean forward, straight arm, arms in line with your ears. Breathe. And last few breaths. Stay in Manipura. Breathe. Mind focus. Bija Mantra Ram. Keep visualizing the space in between the navel and the spine. Inhale. All the way up. Length. Exhale, arms down. Breathe. Allow the belly to expand and retain. And the diaphragm creating space through the lungs as you breathe in, reducing as you breathe out. And now we step for the last two inversion and twist. We breathe in, step your right leg back. Maintain the feet in one line. So inverted trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale. Arms. Two big round circle. Right arm goes on the floor. Bend the, knee, the left knee if you need. Or stay with the arm outside. Up to you. Look up. Open the chest. Empty the belly. Stay focused in Manipur. Breathe, keep the mantra Ram in the belly, feel the vibration in that area. In a left arm goes back and down, right forward up, back center, exhale, step your right leg forward, breathe here, relax your shoulders. 
deep in, full out. Step the left leg back. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, round circle. Drop the hand either out, in, right arm up, look up. Breathe here, push the right hip back. Stay in Manipur. Feel the belly expanding and pressing towards the inner part of the thigh. Relax the lower back, relax your abdomen. And then inhale, right arm back and down, left forward and up, back to center. Exhale, step your left leg forward, feet together, relax, stay, breathe in, breathe out. And we can lay down for final relaxation. So set the pose in Shavasana, feet apart, arms apart, relax the whole body. You mentally suggest to yourself to relax. And observe the activity in your belly in Manipura. Maintain a conscious diaphragmatic breathing. Relaxing your legs and feet. Your hands and arms. Your back. Feel the old back and the buttocks, the hips, the belly and the chest. Then relax all the muscle of the face. And then for a few moments, feel the attention in Manipura in this area. Notice if any emotion manifesting or whatever experience can rise, uh, focusing on that point. Allow the breath to be deep and silent, free, and surrender for a moment in total relaxation. and bring activity back to your fingers and feet and toes and then slowly slide your legs together feet together breathing in stretch your arms overhead stretch the whole body stretch stretch and relax. With the eyes closed, we can turn on one side. We sit up, legs cross, back straight. Take a long deep breath in, breathing out, relax the system, relax your body. We're going to chant mantra Om Shanti together. Inhale. Shanti, 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 Hari Om Tat Sat. Thank you for joining. If you like the practice, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and keep practicing. Namaste.